Hey guys, Books here. Back with another video where we'll be discussing the patch notes of the latest squad update. More specifically, squad version 3.2 that will be dropping on August 24th. This update will focus on game performance and some fine tuning of weapons, kits and vehicles, which could potentially see a shift of the current meta. If you want us to continue covering more squad updates and patch notes in the future, then don't forget to like this video and subscribe for other squad related content. First change that you will notice when playing the game after version 3.2 drops will be the performance update. This is something that's been lacking in the game since version 3.0 dropped, quite some time ago in fact. This fix should help those who are struggling to get 60 frames per second in the game at the moment. We'll also have new improved vehicle gunner smoke effects coming with this update. Gameplay wise, we'll see some major changes on how mines work. Now, Mines will only detonate when the vehicle drives directly over the mine with its wheels or tracks. This means that mines will be nerfed slightly and, for that reason, engineers will have to carry more and will be able to carry more to compensate for this nerf. This change might help vehicle survivability, so in the eyes of a community that love to play armour, this is a welcomed change. Not every change to weapons in this update is a nerf though. For example, the BTR-80 will have a much needed buff in the way of a penetration increase of its 14.5mm main gun. This will also apply to any vehicles using the same gun, so vehicles such as the BRDM or the MTLV will also benefit from it. This change will try to make the BTR-80 more capable in defeating APCs like the Striker, making it a more viable choice than it was previously. We still think that even with the buff, the BTR-80 is not going to become meta anytime soon, but at least it's going to be in a better place than it used to be. And with that folks, we're done. This is all the important news regarding the update version 3.2. If you have any questions regarding this update, be sure to share them in the comments section down below. Thanks for listening folks, Vukes out.